So this video is just a short demonstration of the example game application that you guys are going to be building for your final. There's going to be a welcome screen. You can choose the text that you put on the welcome screen. And the user's got the choice of the three buttons to navigate at the bottom. The help button will bring up a dialogue. I'd like you to put some text into this dialogue box to explain to the person how to play the game. The scores button will, if there are scores saved on the computer, bring up a data grid view with two columns. One column for the usernames, one column for the scores. And then finally, the play button. When you click on the play button, you're moved to the play screen and asked for a username, if the username has not already been saved in the game. So we can go in here and enter a username, I click play. Now the overlay is gone, we can actually play the game. So these questions were brought in from a JSON file calling the callback function. When you click on a question, it brings you to the choice of answers. If you click on the correct one, the class for this selection goes green and it also brings you back to the list and its background color has changed to a color that indicates that you were correct. Now, if I try to click on here, I'm clicking on this one, I cannot click on here anymore. That functionality has been disabled. The icon over here, when you come back, I'd like this icon to change and also make sure that the text is still going to be readable with this new background. If you click on one of these and click the wrong answer, you get styling which indicates that it was an incorrect answer. So as we move through here answering questions you can see the score up above. There's the person's username and the score. I've just chosen arbitrarily to do five points per correct answer. You can use any scoring mechanism you want. When you get to the very end after you've answered all the questions I'm just going to randomly click on some here. Get through all of these. Norway is Oslo. We had Dar es Salaam and Caracas. And now we've moved over to the scores screen after having completed all of these. It tells the person what their score was and the date that the score was there. Last part is I've only used the default swatch here, the default theme. I want you guys to take your own scheme and apply that to this. Whatever questions you come up with for this, try and make a scheme that matches the topic for your quiz.